What is going on everybody? Welcome to another breakdown video from the NYC tournament. Over the past weekend, I had several requests of breaking down the popular 3-3-5 odd defense that a lot of players were running at that tournament and definitely seems to be becoming the meta along with the 3-3-5 normal defense that uh, we've kind of seen online at least for the past few weeks but the 335 odd definitely seems like a strong candidate to overtake that normal 335 multiple players were running it in this case I'm gonna show you guys Joel other players such as Skimbo Chaos and uh, you know several others were also running this type of defense it's very tough especially post patch with you know the updates to the zone coverage zones play even better now mainly uh, zones play better if you have high zone coverage in play rec uh, ratings, but that's kind of a conversation for a different video. I'll definitely be going over that in the meta breakdown that I do on Friday. So, looking forward to that. But into this video, basically the scheme revolves around three main plays, right? It's uh, the two linebacker cross plays. So you have linebacker cross zero, which is a man-to-man -man version of the blitz, as well as it's a linebacker cross three show two which is the zone version, which is where you're going to get a kind of a cover three shell. But the main principle here, as you can see the setup pre-snap from Joel on defense, you're spreading your line, you're crashing them down, and what you want is for this guy to come looping in through the A-gap, right through there. So the way you're going to do that, you're spreading your line, crashing them down, so you get a hat on a hat, hat on a hat, hat on a hat, and then what you want to happen is you want this guy right here, uh, you're going to be blitzing him off the edge. So now the left guard ends up being in a predicament. Either he's got to slide out or he's got to either slide out and get this defensive end while the left tackle slides out to get the guard or he picks up the linebacker who's looping through and the cornerback off the edge comes in free. So it's a five-man rush, three defensive linemen, your linebacker looping through and your slot cornerback kind of like a nickel blitz type of look from last year coming off that edge. And then you have six-man coverage on the back end. So like I said, you have the man-to-man -man version, linebacker cross zero, where basically you can go man across the board, and you have the ability to user a one guy. So it's basically kind of like a cover one where you're usering the guy who's supposed to be guarding you know, the deep middle of the field. Or uh, you can do a cover three shell variant, which is what a lot of players will do, that linebacker cross three show two, and where you're basically usering over the middle of the field, and you've got you know, a cover three look on the back side here where you got three deep zones this guy might be on the flat right here this guy might come user the middle and then this guy might have the uh the responsibility of you know the left side flat out there or something like that so that's kind of what you're looking at and when this play is mixed in you know with the every po ever popular cover four this put this formation has a cover four drop uh, contained so you have your your standard cover four th that gets mixed in which is very tough um, it's really easy because stock it drops eight and rushes three, which is kind of what you want out of a cover four this year, in my opinion. So that's kind of your cover four look. These outside deep zones do a great job of taking away many different routes, specifically corner routes. And so it can be a very tough defense to go against because you don't know, okay, is he sending pressure? Is he dropping back into cover four? What do I have to prepare for here? So right here in this example, AKG third and two trips tight into the left. And you're going to see the blitz come in a fur Joel up the middle. As you see right here, what ends up happening, DT gets double teamed by the center and right guard. Left guard ends up sliding out to take the blitzing cornerback. So you already see the linebacker looping in. That's exactly what you want here. AKG goes with the blocking only five. Doesn't block his running back who he sends out on the route right there. So maybe a little greedy on third and two in a situation where you know Joel's probably going to be sending some pressure. But I guess AKG might have thought he had it locked up uh, between slide protection and identifying the mic. But in this case, the middle linebacker comes screaming through the A-gap. AKG tries to roll to the other side, but not able to get the ball off with Russell Wilson before I believe that's Bobby Wagner gets there and gets the sack to put him in a fourth and long situation. So that's exactly uh, that nickel 335 odd defense that you're seeing a lot of people running online. And you saw a lot of people running in the NYC tournament. Definitely, if you have it in your arsenal, uh, you'll already be a leg up on anybody who does not have it in their arsenal. Or if you're going up against somebody who's never seen it or doesn't know how it works. It's definitely a very tough defense, and you'll have a lot of success online with it. Um, it and definitely, if you can get it down, depending on what game mode you're playing. So, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what I can do better for future videos, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take it easy.